Meghan Markle is set to make shocking claims about her battle with mental health during her time in Britain. And just what dangerous depths it led her to, page 6 is told. The Duchess of Sussex will also open up about her experiences with racism in the UK. During her and Prince Harry's tell, all interview with Oprah Winfrey, set to air Sunday on CBS. But the most staggering moments will come when she discusses the breakdown that led to her and Harry quitting the royal family and his home country. Even Winfrey was stunned to hear just how bad life got for Markle behind palace walls, stating in the trailer, You've said some pretty shocking things here, wait, hold up, wait a minute. What Meghan says is very, very serious and upsetting, a TV insider tells page 6. Indeed, Markle. As trailers show, is poised to say that life inside the royal family, which she refers to as the firm, was almost unsurvivable. The interview will air on ITV in the UK and ITV's Chris Ship said this week, I know that she is going to mention things like mental health and the impact of being in the UK had on her mental health. I know that she's going to mention about the press intrusion, but also she's going to raise the issue of race in Britain. Markle, who is pregnant, made it clear just how much she was struggling in her 2019 interview with Brit reporter Tom Bradby during the Sussex's royal tour of Africa. When Bradby asked if she was okay, Markle, whose son, Archie, was then only a few months old, thanked him for asking as she replied, not many people have asked if I'm okay. She added, look, any woman, especially when they are pregnant, you're really vulnerable and so that was made really challenging. And then when you have a newborn, you know, and especially as a woman, it's a lot. Meanwhile, Harry's brother, Prince William, and William's wife, Kate Middleton, are said to be dreading the upcoming tell, all and don't want to be involved in the soap opera. William and Catherine could not be more discreet, they don't want to get involved in this public bitch fest, but I am sure that William is desperately sad about all this, one royal source told Page Six.